According to the Cash Learning Partnership State of the World's Cash Report, the perception that cash is an inherently risky modality is still the biggest barrier to more effective and extensive use of cash and voucher assistance, or CVA. However, evidence has shown that CVA is no riskier than other modalities. In some cases, it can be less risky than more traditional forms of aid, especially in digital form, as it is easier to track and more discreet to deliver. But it does present different risks to other modalities. To make sure CVA is used whenever it is the most appropriate modality, we must identify and dispel these myths one by one. Myth 1. CVA is riskier for crisis-affected people. Digital channels and new technologies mean that humanitarian agencies no longer need to transport physical cash to people in emergencies, reducing security risks. However, with digital channels of delivery, humanitarian agencies need to collect data from end users and ensure they take into account their needs and preferences and any digital literacy constraints. There are unique risks associated with the digital delivery of CVA and these need to be understood and mitigated to put the protection of crisis-affected people at the centre of humanitarian response. Myth number two, CVA is riskier for donors. There is no evidence of cash being more prone to diversion than other modalities. Some studies suggest that losses from or diversion of cash transfers are around 2% on average, compared with up to 50% for some in-kind aid. In fact, because CVA is direct and involves few intermediaries, in high-risk environments it can be an effective tool to avoid diversions. However, in high-risk environments, compliance requirements designed to mitigate diversion risks, such as individual beneficiary vetting, do create additional reputational and security risks. These must be understood and mitigated to uphold humanitarian principles. Myth number three, CVA is riskier for implementing agencies. When it comes to delivering CVA, humanitarian agencies must manage large amounts of data, often in partnership with other organizations, including financial service providers. They are also required to comply with donor legislation but by investing up front to build the systems necessary to deliver CVA safely and effectively, we can ensure less risk over the long term. Humanitarian agencies are starting to develop policies around data sharing and put agreements in place with partners. By working together, implementing agencies can share best practice and push for open dialogue with donors around expectations for risk management and risk sharing. Myth number four. Working with private sector actors to deliver CVA is risky. Private sector organisations such as financial service providers are an essential part of the delivery of CVA. Some humanitarian actors are concerned that involving private sector actors who are not bound by humanitarian principles could put recipients at risk. However, in order to address the huge challenges of meeting humanitarian need at scale, we need the best skills, the best ideas and the best reach available. Humanitarian flows in crisis contexts amounts to only a very small part of total funding available. And recipients of humanitarian assistance are already engaging with a range of actors. By working more closely with private sector partners from the outset in a principled manner, we can help ensure more effective, efficient and user-centred assistance for people in crisis. The Cash Learning Partnership is helping to navigate these challenges by generating evidence and convening actors at global and regional events and webinars to share experiences and best practices. Find out more about our work on our website.